So hello friends, welcome back to the channel. As we know, earthquakes occur every day and are a reminder that earth's surface is constantly moving beneath us. So why not study it with the help of GIS and visualize it more perfectly. So for doing it, first of all we have to Login in the ArcGIS online in E3. Then click on the scene. So today I will show you the earthquake which happened in the Christchurch, New Zealand. Okay. So for this you have to first of all build a local scene. So for that you have to click on the new scene and just click on the new local scene so once clicked there would be a new window of arc scene so change the let's change the topographic uh, base map so it's a topographic world map over here as you can see there is a local screen uh, of special resolution 10 to 100 Okay, this resembles to the New Zealand transverse Mercator projection. Now, as you can see, it is the elevation is showing Terran 3D. Okay, so first of all, let us add the layers. In the My Content section, uh, you have to click on the ArcGIS Online and search for the New Zealand area uh, as it's as I have shown you over here just add the layer so it's showing that the layer has a different reference system than the current so no problem with that just drop it Once it's done, click on the done button. So here you can see the spatial reference is changed. So just to navigate uh, if you are. Here you can see there is no elevation. No elevation of the terrain. So we have to just bring on the elevation data also. Just add the elevation layer also over here. So once again, we have to type uh, the, uh, we have to search the data of the elevation data of the Christchurch region. So. So like this Christchurch elevation and you have to just add it like as you have added the previous one. Once it's done, you can see the ground elevation is set as the Christchurch elevation area. And you can see the elevation over here. Now click on the layers and uh, just check and uncheck the Christchurch elevation. This check and check is done because uh, elevation isn't always necessary in a scene. For example, if the area you are mapping is very flat or if your data or map theme are unaffected by the changes in the elevation. So that's why to confirm it, we have to do the check and uncheck. Now you can uh, just change the transparency to 100% so that the lines which you are seeing over here is just removed out you can save your prog progress if you want to proceed uh, after some time just give the title summary and the tags also like this
just click on the save okay now let's add some another layers also because uh, we have to just uh, want the earthquake layers also so here the word earthquake layer should be added so once it's added you will be seeing the different earthquake which have occurred all around the world so as it's added just click on the done and here you can see some points below our layer that's the different types of earthquake or which occurred at different time intervals with different magnitudes now let's sort some of the earthquakes so in the elevation mode just change it in the on the ground and again to the absolute height click on the done now i want to just map those earthquakes which are within this area so i will just zoom out within this area only zoom in sorry then clip to the center so once we did we done this we can see the areas which are just having the earthquake below these areas and when it's done you can see the area which you have chosen and you can see the earthquakes the points are now less they are sorted Let's get into layer properties now. World earthquakes. We have to filter out the major earthquakes from 4.1 to 9. Point and more on. Once done, so you can see there would be a much lesser numbers of earthquake points. let's change the options over here select 3d counts and amounts check the options let the minimum to be 200 and the maximum to be 1000 Now change the marker. I would be preferring the marker from cylindrical to be a sphere. Once done, you can increase or decrease as of your conditions. I am taking it from maximum till 6, the magnitude. Let the labels is uh, on. Prefer these conditions before clicking on done. So you can see that each and every different magnitudes of points are looking different. So based on the magnitude, it would be showing as a different value. So you can save it if you want. So
so here you can see let's add the landmarks also so that we can calculate that from how many how much distance the earthquake's epicenter was from the landmark just activate the labels over here keep the options as same as possible so here you can see the landmarks are added to the map so here we would be calculating the distance from the epicenter of the earthquake from ctv building first of all let's change the transparency towards a minimum of 50 or oh, sorry 40 percent so here we from the above layer from the above of the map we can see the earthquakes center and we can get the some values of it so up till here it's clear now if you want to analyze and measure the distance from the landmark towards the center or epicenter i must say we can just calculate by dragging these options so here we can directly say the direct distance is up till 5.47 from the largest earthquake occurred that is 4.5 magnitude the horizontal centers and the epicenters are also seen over here so thank you friends for watching this video do consider subscribing to this channel because a more and more projects and several tasks would be uploaded on this channel. Thank you.